Angela Clark with Threadwego Quilting, and this week we're going to continue our quilt path journey by learning how to manage our zones. So zones are how quilt path cuts up your entire quilt so that your quilting is able to be fit into your quiltable space on your quilt. What we need to do now is figure out how we can take that full zone and manipulate it so that it is working correctly on our quilt top. So let's go ahead and go back into our quilt path. You'll see I'm still sitting on the zone that we were looking at last time. Um, and down here on the bottom right hand uh, corner of your screen, there's gonna be a button that has caution tape around it that says zone manager. So we are gonna tap on that button and then we're gonna get a warning um, that is basically telling us um, that we, that this is gonna allow us to change how things are being cut up on our, our quilt. Now, I'm not sure why they felt like they needed to put caution tape on it and they needed to put a big scary warning. It's not scary in here, guys. Um, you just need to know what it's trying to tell you, right? So I'm gonna say yes to that and it's going to bring up the quiltable space for my um, quilt. So it's gonna show you the one zone I have that I am ready to place right now, but it's gonna show you the entire quilt. And I can see where the zones are going to be on this quilt by tapping this show zone button on the top left, which is gonna show me how many zones it's gonna to take to quilt my entire quilt. So in this case, there's going to be five zones. Most of the zones are going to have at least two rows in them, and the bottom zone's gonna have one and the partial, and that's fine. Um, it's also gonna, down here in the center, in some more caution tape, um, it's gonna talk about zone scale percentage and your zone size max. Um, the zone scale percentage is how much of your your frame we're going to let you use at any given time. So by default um, we are set at 100% of the width of our frames. Most APQS machines are 8, 10, 12, or 14 feet long so it is no problem for you to use 100% of your quiltable space right and left. The height is the important part right because your quilting space will get smaller as the take-up roller on the back of your um, frame um, gets lo quilt loaded up on it. So it starts out as like, you know, a, a one and a half or two inch roller, depending on which frame you have. And then as you're building up your quilt, it's building up outside of that. And that is actually what stops forward and backwards movement of your long arm. So when I scroll, when I roll all the way back, the nose of my machine, so this part of my machine right here is tapping the take up roller. When I come all, way, all the way forward, it's the back of my throat that's tapping that roller up there. So as I'm building quilt up on it, it's getting smaller, which is why we have the 95%. When you get to the bottom of a, real, of a quilt that has any quilt up on the roller, your quiltable sp space height is smaller than it was at the top of the quilt. And we don't want you to get to the bottom of the quilt and not be able to quilt that zone. That would be no fun at all. So it lets you see the zones. There's a zoom in and out button so you can zoom in in case you need to see things a little bit better. Um, this number, zone number down here will let me move through my zones, which when we learn how to resume our so zones, that's how we're going to move down our zone. If we stopped on zone three, we'll be able to start back up on zone three after a shutdown. And then over here on the bottom right, these are, these are the buttons that you're gonna control how you are using that zone. So the top one says zone placement center at the moment, which means that I am going to be placing using one point and it, that one point is gonna be the top center of the zone, which is that green box that was showing up on my screen, right? Um, and I, you get either center or four points. We're gonna talk about four points a little bit later. Um, to start out with, I'm gonna have you using center. The next one, zone start position. That is every time you place a zone, do you want it to start on the left or do you want it to alternate between left and right? Now, I always leave mine on left because when you're moving zones, you are also you know, sewing down the edges of your quilt and you've been on both sides of your quilt. So I do everything that I need to on the right of my quilt, go to the left of my quilt, do everything I need to do, and then I always want it to start on the left. Um, that's just a personal decision that I made. Um, and it's not a huge deal when you're doing a center placement, 
But when you are doing a four point placement, um, it is going to determine where your A side is. So I always want my A side to be on my left when I'm doing a four point placement. That'll be a little bit clearer later, um, but that's why mine is always set to left, okay? And then this bottom one down here lets me decide how the rows inside that zone are going to be quilted. By default, it wants to quilt everything from left to right. So it'll do row one from left to right, row two from left to right, row three, and keep however many rows it can get into that zone, right? What I really want it to do is go from left to right, and then go down and go right to left. And the bottom two choices will let me do that. So the top choice is always from the left. So every single row inside the zone would go from left to right. The middle choice is going to be left to right, jump stitch down, right to left, jump stitch down. That's really helpful when you're doing things like border to border designs. Um, but in this case, I'm not. I am doing a, just a whole pantograph. So what I really want it to do is left to right, sew down the edge, right to left, sew down the edge. And that is gonna be the bottom choice on this bottom button, which is what I have selected. So once we have everything set up the way we want, we're gonna hit the OK button, and then we are ready to quilt. So next week, we're gonna be actually quilting the quilt, and we will be using center placement to do that. Once again, my name's Angela Clark. I'm with Threadwaggle Quilting. Please like, follow, and share our videos, and we look forward to seeing you next week.